Hello, George Kaplan here with another review. This time it's the Grapner USA Husky 1800S. The Husky is a foam ARF with carbon fiber strengthening throughout. You'll see it comes in plain white. There are three sticker packages, a red, yellow, and a blue scheme that can be applied to it. The box art is very interesting in that the printing also doubles as some of the instructions. Speaking of instructions, a manual is included with both written and illustrated diagrams for each step. Here's a shot of the fuselage and you'll see all plastic bits have been inserted in there from the factory. There's also a myriad of hatches as well as the push rods being installed. Up front, the power comes from this electric brushless motor. There are three hatches. This one is the battery hatch. This one is to have access to the servos and is a very hard snap. And here you see inside the servos already installed for you. And on the side is another hatch that can be pulled with this little tab. It's where the receiver is installed, plus there's a spot you can see above the receiver to install a servo if you wanted to use the Husky for towing gliders. The wing has everything installed already, the lights, the servos, even the strut that you see here. The strut hinges on the top mount and the center struts can be pushed into the little detents on the wing you see here. All the hinges come pre-installed. These are for the flaps and these are for the ailerons. Note that the servo is installed with the push rod already run. The center portion of the wing features a plug-in system where the lights, the flaps, and the ailerons plug in. To plug in the wing, you simply slide it onto the rod. You install the connections. Slide the wing into position. Now from the underneath, you attach the base of the strut. You slide in the pin as a retainer. Pop the center struts into their holes. And then snap this latch at the root of the wing to secure everything in position. Nav lights come pre-installed and are already wired. Here you see the ones that are on the starboard wing. And these are on the port wing. Flaps are pre-installed and work at a very slow scale-like speed. These are the main gear with wheel pants that come with it. You can install these or you can install the Tundra tires which are also included. If you want to go a different route, you can install these floats. These are an optional accessory. And there's also skis which can be installed which you'll see later on in one of the flight videos. All up, the Husky weighed in at 5 and 3 8 pounds ready to fly. However, it required a CG adjustment, and doing that adjustment requires adding a bit of nose weight. The finished all up weight with the correct CG came in at 6 pounds, and it's still a great flying airplane.